We made it outside! This is... It's nice. It's not fake at all. Right? Yeah, it's, it's like... Welcome to Game Design 101. Today, we are learning how to create landscapes by using preset textures. Look at that texture. And then we're going to make some trees out of some simple polygons. This reminds me of The Truman Show. You ever watch that? that no. Movie? Terrific navigational skills. It's a very good movie. This has been a very successful experiment so far. What? what ooh, this seems like a secret way. What? There's no secrets in Portal. There's, yeah, there are. Wait, there's a door on the other side. Go, which, just go, go, go through this one! I don't know which way I'm supposed to go and which way is the secret. Probably doesn't matter. Ah, uh, fine. <laughs> we'll never know. No, we won't. That's fine. There's things that I can go without knowing, like where that door goes. I I'll. Uh, I can't go with, without knowing that. The best of the best. I'm gonna play right. through this whole game again just to find it on my own. <laughs> Wait, are we at level one? Level one. But it's Fuck. all like trees and stuff. Well, are we just like in hard mode right now, or is it like? Um, I guess I don't know. It's pretty easy right now. Every time you say that, you almost die. <laughs> just, just. You're saying. just like waiting for me to die. You never have to wait very long. Whoops. Now I got both goops. Both goops. Take the box with me. Oh, I can't. Oh yeah, I can. Now it's just straight up open all the time. Cause the laser <laughs> thing isn't on it. Right. How creepy would it be if you saw like a person in there? Cause you like never see people in these. That would be- it looks like there is almost, like, someone behind there. It's just chairs. I know, but, like, if it was, like, two aliens? <laughs> yeah. It kinda looks like two aliens. Two that chair aliens. Creepier. Two aliens that look like chairs. Chairlians, if you will. <laughs> what if that's what aliens looked like when they caught here? <laughs> They're just, like, chairs. <laughs> <laughs> They'd be terrible, they would just blend in too well. Furniture stores would crumble. Oops. You're not gonna like go buy furniture at a store if they could just be alien chairs. They're aliens in disguise. <laughs> like, would overweight aliens be like alien couches? Or like um, bean bags? You know, you know, you kind of you kind of let yourself go. You're starting to look a little bit like a love seat. Like, you know, it's all cool. You know, you eat what you want, but that's it. you gotta give it a limit. You know. You know, we should start a sitcom. And this will be the premise. <laughs> Aliens that look like chairs. That, like, just like, it'll be a regular sitcom, and it's like halfway through season one, just <laughs> the couch they're sitting on is an alien. <laughs> plot twist. It'll be called Cha be Chairlians. You already came up with the, the perfect name, Chairlians. Chairlians. That would be also the family's last name to be stupidly, like, ironic. Oh, did I not get the orange cube? What just happened there? You have orange goop. Uh, it's not working right now. I didn't activate it. Now it's activated. Oh my god. Stop just walking to the laser. It drives me nuts. It doesn't matter. It's not gonna kill me. I know, but it's just it's the principle of the thing. And I have to pick up the box, which is right next to the laser. Look, just because your reasons all make sense doesn't mean I give a shit. Pretty sure you do the exact same thing. You think I can time this on my first time? Oh, can I put money down on it? Three, two, one, go. Yeah! I was gonna bet on you. Well, too late. You would've lost. Don't you know? 
Actually, I probably would have done a lot worse if you actually bet on me because I, there would have been a lot of pressure. Not good under pressure. Good to know. <laughs> Next time we're playing, picks a punch out for 500 bucks. Aw, oh, that's not gonna work. A thousand bucks. I know what you must be wondering. What that's better. Time? That's less less pressure than five hundred. When did I learn his yeah, Nigel. it's only like a one in front. So if you add up all the digits, it's only one. Yeah, that's that's how numbers work. Yeah, that's what they teach you in math class. They don't teach fucking anything in math. They teach core math. Have you seen core math? I mean, they teach like derivatives. Let no, like Common Core, like the way they teach math nowadays. Oh no! They teach math for like kindergarten, first grade, without any numbers. How? It's like, like they use like shapes and properties of shapes for things. Like, um, like the kids will have to add up like, uh, like three blue shapes and a red shape and say it's like three or like they'll add a square with a circle in it and subtract a circle and get just a square without a circle in it that just seems like way overly complicated it is like it really is and it makes no sense to me but apparently it's you know it just like somebody thinks it's a good idea it just like adds a degree of separation that doesn't make sense yeah, like, and then you just get to a point where it's like, well, okay, kid, what's three times three? And they're like, I don't know. I guess it makes it more interesting for the kid to learn. I don't think so. It makes it more I mean, engaging. It makes it more relatable because you can be like, ooh, a playground ball? I've played with a playground ball. There's three of them. But it's not like a, but it's not like a playground ball. It's just like, shit. It's not, it doesn't make it any less of a pain in the ass. Well, he's watching me. Whoa, hello. <laughs> that scared me. Funny running into you here. <laughs> I don't know. Call me old fashioned. I just. Like, I mean, I don't silly. like it, but I can see why they're doing it. I think it's supposed to be like, it, like you know, fixing how you think. So, like, you know, it's supposed to be, it'll teach the kids to think better than they do. I don't. Okay. I don't know what I'm talking about. I really don't know enough about it. I don't have any kids, but it's just, it's just, from what I've seen, it's really nonsense. Yeah. Ooh. In school now, like, everyone has, um, like, iPads and stuff, too. I think it's, like, required in some schools. Or they, like, provide you with an iPad or something. Yeah, some schools give it out, which, that I don't hate. Like, that I think is not a bad idea. I mean, it's better than, like, lugging around a huge thing of textbooks and stuff. Those are heavy. Yeah, plus, like, um, you can do a lot on, on if you have, like, linked up iPads, if you have, like, the apps for it, like, you can do a lot of shit. Yeah, I, I mean, um, what just happened? What's your goal here? Oh, I got, I got orange group. <laughs> That's why I went up there. I was trying to figure out why I went up there. Okay, now now use your laser to open the door before you jump over there. Yes. I was gonna do I that. I want to. If you want to. I don't want to, but I will anyway because you said so. Oh, thanks, Chris. It's nice to know you're listening to me finally. Yeah, you contributed to our success. I am pretty sure I mentioned my name somewhere before. Don't worry. It doesn't apply so much to this game because it's just like standard first person shooter controls, but every time I feel like, like I watch you play a game, by the time I'm like halfway through, I just assume I'm better at the game than you are, even though I've never played it. <laughs> yeah. I've already played it. It's through. like, Chris, come the fuck on, like, I could do this. Okay. So I've already played through this game once, I know how the mechanics work. Give you a to keep I've watched, I watched half of this game, have as much experience as you do. You kind of. See? Sort of. I have questions that need to be answered. Yeah. I feel like we like reverted back to old levels. I mean, it's gotten like a little easier for some reason. Like I'm not particularly following what we're doing. Um, we're solving puzzles. 
Well, I, I mean, like, <laughs> like overall, like, why? Well, actually, that's a stupid question too. Yeah. Why aren't I more? Why aren't I more confused? And why are you just like breezing through these levels now? Because I'm good. <laughs> Chris, don't fucking bullshit. <laughs> all right. You got the box over. Yeah, that's that's something. At least <laughs> it's gotta count. It's gotta get for something. Like the most boxes move ribbon. Get that bat. Get that uh, boy scout badge. Most boxes ever. Guinness. Sorry. World Girl record. Girl Scout badge. Don't wanna. Wait, what? Your girl character. Oh, okay. Gotcha. Girl Scout badge. Gotcha. So how did I get over there? If I can't, if I'm not fast enough to get over there. You put down blue goop. I don't have blue goop. Oh. Can I get blue? Oh, I can get blue goop up there. That's not helpful. But I, I think I have to go through this whole thing to get up there. Did that button do anything else other than put, make that go on? I see there's a light bridge here, but it's not on. Mm. Gotta find another button. Oh, there's a button over there. I need to get up. Maybe I just did it wrong. I wasn't going fast enough. How about that button? Wait, like it's the box. how come I don't have orange goop anymore? You walk through the thing. Oh, I walked the wrong way, I think. There we go. Okay. I'm just gonna try to go over there again. Bring your box. Yep. I wish you could goop things while you're holding stuff. It'd be very useful. Okay, and jump like a regular person. Too early. Yeah. You can make it. You think I can? You can make it next time on Pixel Playground! <laughs>